So we're going to take a look today at a new Chrome extension called Image Downloader. It's up on the Chrome Web Store. It uh, describes itself as an extension that allows you to right-click on an image and download it. Um, but when I tested it, what it actually what what I actually saw it do was inject advertisements into sites I was visiting, um, underline keywords, and make them into little like hoverable um, advertisements or open up new tabs on its own that show tech support scams, adware downloads, surveys, all the you know the crappy scam sites that we don't want to see. So I have uh, Fiddler up. We're going to disable that for a second. And we're going to go to the site that downloads this. Uh, let's see. And uh, it's uh, a site promoting a download manager. We click install. And let's see if anything happens. So nothing there. Let's try it again. There we go. All right. So it's been uh, installed by 2026 users. Uh, let's go to the web store real quick and take a look at this. So image downloader. It uh, describes itself as extension, allows you to download images from web page from context menu. Hot, does it work? RMB on image, choose. So an amazing description. Uh, we're gonna install it. And let's turn on EK Fiddle now so we can see if any traffic goes uh, comes about from installing. All right. So let's see. So uh, no unusual traffic. Let's uh, clear this, close Chrome again. Let's see if there's any startup traffic. And go back. And here we go. All right, so we got some stuff here that's not normal for Google. Uh, we got this here, which is definitely not a Google-related domain. Um, this does not look like a Google-related domain. So it looks like some JavaScript, some uh, configuration. Um, let's see some more. Okay. All right. So let's go back to Chrome. So um, let's go to a website. Uh, I'm going to pick, uh, we'll go to Fox News. Why not? And uh, let's find a article that I can read here. All right. Let's uh, read about Papa John's. So when you click on it and the web page opens, eventually, you will see that it highlights keywords. And these keywords become ads. And there we go. So we got defensive becomes. Let's see what else. It's still loading. Hold on. So it's ad by not set. Uh, you know, just just you know, crappy ads. Um, and let's see if I can get it to. I don't want to hear this video. Right, and this is this is what I was talking about, where it's going to open up a new tab to some weird, unwanted site. So this is my Chinese novel. Um, let's go and check out. Uh, see if we can get it to trigger some sort of tech support scam. Let's see. And one of these survey sites. Hello. So it's just like crappy sites. Uh, really unwanted well, uh, stuff. The NFL and uh, let's you check out what it does to Google, NFL if anything. Desperately needs <clears> leadership. <throat> Jones, the so we're just going to search for test. All right. So it injects ads into Google as well. And um, so as you can see, this thing's adware. Uh, it says it can do stuff with images. Let's see. Right click on an image. Uh, image downloader. Okay, so you can save a JPEG or, or, or as a PNG. Regardless, this thing's adware. Uh, it was designed to generate revenue for the developer. It was um, not told up front that it would be doing this. Uh, it promotes unwanted um, advertisements, unwanted websites. So it's definitely something to be avoided. Uh, I've already reported this. Um, to Google on from the Chrome Web Store. Nothing has been done yet. Uh, let's do that again. It is anywhere. I'm not a robot. And submit. All right. So uh, be careful when you're out there. Do not just discriminately install extensions you find. This looks like an innocuous extension. Uh, 
the description is definitely worded very strangely, so that should be a clue. But um, it's becoming a problem. Extensions on, on the Chrome Web Store are, are not as reviewed as, as well as I think they should be. Um, too many extensions are coming in with, that are showing ads that are in, injecting uh, big, uh, cryptocurrency miners into the browser. I found one last, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, where it would use your Gmail account to register uh, domains under a random name. So these things are malicious and they, and they can cause a problem. So be careful what you download and install and stay safe.